Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Last time we, well, we did a complete overhaul of the zoo as you can see. We put in the, I guess, the, like the trading hub and right next to the entrance, some toilets, cafe, etc. We've also put back in the wallabies, the emus, but today we're going to be introducing the platypus, the wombat, the red kangaroos and koalas. And then we'll be working on the, we'll be working on the southern cassowary, the saltwater crocodile, and the dingo enclosures as well. As well as addressing a lot of issues with the staff. At the moment, we have, don't have enough staff room for the amount of people that we have. And we've got no do donation boxes. So before we get into anything first, we will be adding some donation boxes to our zoo. Alright, with that done, we shall introduce ourselves some platypuses. Okay, so we have just got the first platypus into the enclosure, and they are currently missing sand, rock, and some... We need less some long grass than what we've currently got, so we're just going to quickly tweak that. And we need to make the water deeper as well. change the water to tropical and there we go all right now we need to put some sand in so we're going to put that and a bit of rock and we need to get rid of the long grass cool now these guys require some hard uh, requires some hard shelter. Uh, if we put the filter on to B by species. Oh no, there we go. Bam. Put another one here as well. We have too many plants. That is unfortunate to hear. Let's delete uh, just a couple of tree ferns. Uh, this one. Let us get rid of this one. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Now we just need to give them some enrichment. Let's take it there. Okay, we have finished the uh, platypus pen. They are all happy as Larry in here. We are now going to move on to the wombats. They are not happy. They have too much long grass, so that's easy enough to fix. Cool, they're happy with that. Now they just need hard shelters. So if we go to habitat. Bam. They are now almost as happy as Larry. They just need enrichment. Yeah, I think they've got a lot to play with. Awesome. All right, and now we need to work on the kangaroo and the koala enclosure. So what do we got? Enrichment. Coverage of plants is great. They don't care about any of that. Red kangaroo and koalas, which are back up here. Now, where is the koala? That's a good question. There you are. Okay, let's have a look at you. They need more climbable area and they need less long grass. It's easy enough to fix. Climbing area needs to be drastically increased, so let's give them... Boom! Perfect, got enough. They require more plants. Interesting. What do the kangaroos say? Mm-hmm. Be quite the balancing act, actually. Alright, so, nature. Let's give them some more plants. Can do. There we go. What do the kangaroos say? Perfect. Get rid of the custard apple trees. They need more long grass. Why do they say in the zoopedia? Bear with me here. Let's go to the red kangaroo, animal enrichment, koala, redneck wallaby, and emus. They need a bit more long grass. What about these guys? Oh, it's going to be a fine line. 
between having the right amount of grass for both. What's the point of saying that they can be in the same habitat as one another when they clearly don't agree eye to eye on things? Alright, that's borderline for them. Let's have a look with the kangaroos. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's a fine balancing act. That's a one. That's one for... That's for sure. Okay, that's them done. Excellent! Alright, well I will fast forward to daytime and we'll start working on the cassowary and the other enclosures that we're going to build for the Australian animals. We're going to start coming around like so. This will be all to do with the staff at the, in the rear, but we will be having some Australian, uh, Australian animal pens here and here. And then we're probably going to stick an exhibit or two roughly around there and then we're going to start looking at doing africa and so forth are we going to do penguins because they are part of the Austra or the oceania area and the answer is not yet we are going to make a antarctic and arctic kind of area which these guys will be in so yes, technically speaking, we should be putting these in Oceania, but we will not. Not yet, anyway. I'll think about it. One thing I've got to do, uh, before we go any further, is to stick in some educational stuff to let people know that, hey, you're looking at a kangaroo. Did you know that? And hey, you're looking at koalas too. And we're also going to bring up some education boards as well to go with it. Probably can put some more dono boxes down. So just go back to here, just type in Don. And then just stick that stuff around. Hmm. <clears throat> we also need some more rubbish bins as well, I noticed. So we just quickly do that. Go to Don. You will bin. Grab a couple of those. Slap them down like so. Alright, that's that sort of. That should be fine. Are we going to do something in here? Eventually, yes. I might put another restaurant in, or I may even put in uh, some more shops. Especially along here as well. My question is can these guys actually get there? I don't think they can. Uh, let's just delete that. Uh, if we can. Spring uh, Southern Cassowary. I have not ever seen them before. They only need a size of two, so 500 square meters. Is that all they need? Really? 500 square meters can do. So we're going to base these guys over here. Right, that habitat is now ready for some cassowaries. And the other thing we would like to make today is the... We're going to make a dingo enclosure. So if we have a look at what dingoes... Oh, or do we go for crocodiles? Let's go for some quok... Quokodiles? Quokodiles. 
<laughs> Let's go for some crocodiles. You guys only need 260 square meters. Really? But you need 315 square meters of water. All right, we can do that. more than enough land excellent we need to spruce up along this side as well i'm just thinking what i'm prob probably going to have to do here well, i need to turn on a heat map for water this needs to have a water thing nearby so we need to put that down need a transformer over here as well right and now we need to cater for the guests and educate them. Have David Attenborough going. Now what you see here is the saltwater crocodile native to Oceania in this habitat. In between episodes I will be doing all the work zones so you guys don't have to see it on screen. Once you've seen it once you don't really need to see it again. In my opinion. Unless you do want to see it in which case let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go with ecotourism, climate change, and what do we got here? Poaching and the exotic pet trade. Sure. Did we have stuff for the cassowaries? No, we did not. We don't even have a footpath. Okay, that's something we need to we'll address as well very shortly. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we need dono don boxes as well, don't we? And the other thing we would like to do is rubbish bins, because humans are pigs.
And the final act we're going to do today is we're going to plant this all out so it looks nice and pretty for the guests. We don't really want them to be staring at rock wall and the fact that there's just a big gouge in the ground. There we go, that looks quite nice now, going down through here. Perfection. So I think next time we need to stick uh, the dingoes in here. Then what I might do is have a row of shops in here and then what other animal do we need to do? So we've got a big chunk of space in here that which we could probably put exhibits into but we do because the game's screaming at us we do need to put some more star facilities in as well which is what i might do as well in between episodes so just a recap we have created ourselves a the cassowary habitat which i still need a name we've added in the wombats the platypuses the red kangaroos and koalas, which seems to be a huge hit with the crowds. And the crocod and the saltwater crocodiles. So yes, next time. I'm actually thinking of putting the dingoes over here because there's more room and then the ex ex exhibits over here somewhere. And then I'll figure out the backroom stuff between episodes. Until then, remember to leave a like, subscribe because it really does help out the channel and consider hitting that bell icon to get notifications for when I do drop the next videos, whether it be Planet Zoo or one of the very many other videos that I'm currently doing. As always, I have been your host, Sir Firecat. You have been watching Planet Zoo. And until next time, take care.